Hi, I'm Gary White for Central Kentucky Television. I'm here with State Senator Jimmy Higdon to talk about some uh, issues that have been going on in your district here. Uh, first, I want to talk about uh, some upsetting news that came out just this past week. On Tuesday, the staff at the Marion Adjustment Center were notified that the Marion Adjustment Center did not receive their renewal on their contract That's for their uh, state prisoners. That's correct. Hence, they will be closing um, in, the, in the next few weeks to a month or two. Well, th I think actually they, 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 there's about a 120 day transition period. Okay. Um, closing's a strong word. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to, you know, I'm, I'm looking at this very optimistic. Uh, okay. Gary, it's a great facility. They have a great staff and, and um, hopefully w with working with the, the governor's office and, uh, you know, local economic development and, and the, the CCA group that we can, we can find another, another purpose, another, um, um, something else that we can use that facility for um, and you know we're going to try um, don't know for sure if we'll be successful but we're going to try and you know it, it was like I said it did come as quite a shock uh, it wasn't because the price was high because the um, I think CCA had um, our Merit Adjustment Center <clears throat> had agreed to the you know the, the price was um, uh, they had agreed upon a price uh, I don't think it was the, um, you know, the service to the inmates because they just had their evaluation and they, the, the state evaluated them and gave them 100%. So, um, you know, I think everybody was kind of taken by surprise. In fact, I had a phone call Monday from the warden uh, inviting me to a, a dinner uh, Wednesday night. There's a, a focus group, uh, local uh, people that meet, I think it meets uh, twice a year to talk about issues and, and, and some public relations type thing that Marion Adjustment Center has been doing for years and years and years. And um, so I'm, I'm generally invited. So Monday when he talked to me, he said, you know, um, there, our contract's going to be renewed. You know, if you'd like to say a few words about uh, congratulating the staff on, you know, the contract being removed, re renewed. And then, um, then I get a call Tuesday afternoon and it says that the you know, contract would not be renewed. Um, as you remember, um, CCA Correction Corporation of America is, is stationed uh, or based out of Nashville, and they had three private prisons in, in, in Kentucky. They had right. um, Lee County, um, Otter Creek, and Marion Adjustment Center. Two years ago, Lee County lost its contract with the state. They didn't renew, did, did not need that facility, um, did not renew the contract with, with them. and. Uh, they're currently housing out-of-state prisoners at Lee County. Last okay. year, they didn't renew the contract with Otter Creek, which is also in Eastern Kentucky. Uh, that facility closed. It is it is now closed. Uh, it was not. Um, uh, they weren't able to keep it open, and now Marion Adjustment Center uh, is the you know last um, uh, private prison in the, in the Commonwealth, and and the um, state has not renewed their contract w with them and. You know, it's 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 been a, a real shock uh, to the um, um, employees at, at, at Marion Adjustment Center. I was in a meeting last night with them, and and um, you know they're they're um, very upset about about um, you know the the news from from Frankfurt. So, um, like I told them last night, you know we we delivered a, a um, truckload of lemons and we'll try to make some lemonade out of it um, and try to you know work to make sure that we turn over every rock and do everything we can to see if there's a way we can repurpose um, find another mission for them at Marion Adjustment Center and, and, and try to save those 160 jobs um, it's a long shot but um, like I said I'm I'm willing to, to give it a try in fact I, I spoke with the governor's office today and and um, we'll talk to anybody that'll listen to me. Uh, go anywhere I can go to, to to talk to anybody I can to see if we can we can save this uh, these 160 jobs. And you know, Marion Adjustment Center came to Marion County, Gary, back in the in in the 80s when you know the unemployment rate in Marion County was in the high teens, and there were just there was no jobs in Marion County. Mm -hmm. and, and they came in and hired a lot of people, and and uh, they've been good corporate citizens for for many, many years, and um, so it's just, um, we, we'd love to see them be able to stay. And, and uh, so, 
like I said, some disturbing news. And, um, you know, we're not the first community to go through this, but, um, you know, it hasn't happened to us for a long time. And, and I certainly feel for all those Marion Adjustment Center employees and staff. And, um, you know, we'll do everything we can to save those jobs. Now, as you're saying, it's about 160 employees that are there, and they have been there for over 20 some years. Uh, 27, if, yeah, I, if I remember uh, correctly. I, mean, there's a, I didn't remember if it was 20 or 25 year celebration that we had not I too think it was long 25 ago. years of celebration yeah. we had not long ago. Uh, and of course, it opened up as a um, minimum security, and now they also have a medium security. Uh, they have a, you know, a section that has a fence and you know, regular, regular, you know, type what you would think of as a prison. Right. So uh, they're multi um, facet there. The thing about Marion Adjustment Center that, um, of course, most of these inmates, these 800 inmates, are going to be moved to county jails around the state and to North Point. North Point is, is um, underutilized right now. But um, at Marion Adjustment Center, there, they were, there's a lot of programs that the inmates at Marion Adjustment Center were receiving and programs that, that help these inmates, give them the tools not to come back. Right. And, uh, and that's, that's the big push now is try to help these, these uh, felons, try to give them the tools to, that uh, they can use on the outside to you know, help them get in their GED. You know, it's tough enough to get a, a job if you're a convicted felon, but it's, it, it's almost impossible if you're a convicted felon and you don't have a G, at least a GED. So trying to help them get a GED, a SAP program, that's a substance abuse program that, you know, most of them are in there for substance abuse. Mm -hmm. And it, it teaches them a lifestyle to, and, and helps, gives them tools that when they get back into their, go back to their old neighborhood and, and the places they were before to, to help them um, to resist that temptation to fall back in that same right. old um, cycle. cycle that they were in before. So. Um, Marion Adjustment Center provided that, and like I said, they, uh, you know, out of the 800 uh, uh, people there, I, I, uh, the warden said last night, I think, you know, almost, you know, around 600 of those inmates were going through programs, either GED or the SAP program or other programs that they had there at, uh, <coughs> at um, <coughs> Marion Correction and um, uh, Marion Adjustment Center. Right. So um, it's. Um, you know, we'll we'll see where we where it goes, and and um, but again, I, like I said, my I'm just very concerned about the you know the employees and and uh, and the staff there. Because many of them have been there quite a while, for a oh, long yeah. period of time. Oh yeah. I mean, they have longevity there. Also, was it a financial reasoning, or what? The governor have you spoken with the governor about what helped uh, precipitate the? Well, the, there's really you know I haven't gotten a real good reason. Why the contract wasn't renewed, you know, the, and that's, you know, when you, uh, I guess when somebody doesn't renew a contract with you, they really don't have to say a whole lot, uh, give you a whole lot of reasons why they didn't. But again, it wasn't because of price, because um, Marion Adjustment Center had, they had agreed on a price. They, they the, the um, um, state says, okay, this is, this is the price we had to have to renew your contract. Marion Adjustment Center says, okay. We'll do, we'll do it for that. Um, you know, they just went through an evaluation with the state and, and uh, the state evaluates them every year and runs them through some, you know, pretty strict um, um, checks and, and, uh, and accreditation. And, and um, I think, you know, for I don't know how many years in a row they've gotten 100 percent. So uh, it wasn't because of the facility or the, you know, the treatment that the uh, inmates were getting. Uh, because they were, you know, just had the highest rating the, the state could give them. So um, that, um, you yeah. know, I, I'd rather not say because uh, I don't know for sure. I haven't really received a, a real good answer why it wasn't renewed. But it is the state. The state was the one who did not that, renew the contract. That's, that's so correct. And, and you know, the, the um, Department of Corrections and, and um, of course, the, you know, the governor has the, the ultimate decision making in, in those cases and um, so you know it was a it wasn't something that we legislated we you know we, we make a budget and of course the the um, um, then you know the, the Department of Corrections takes that budget and, and spends the money as they see fit because I know uh, not too long ago we were talking about the cost of incarceration and like that was one of the three things I believe that 
is mm -hmm. a bulk of the budget, you know, for the state of Kentucky. And will this now help, like, the detention center, potentially, by getting some more employees into the county facilities? You know, I, I don't know that it would help Marion, um, Marion Detention Center because, um, you know, Jailer Brady runs a, a very good ship, and, and, and he had, you know, he's one of the, one of the um, I don't know how many county jails in Kentucky offer the programs that Marion, Marion Detention Center operates. Um, Barry Brady was operating at doing a lot of the programs, same programs as Marion Adjustment Center was doing, right. the SAP program and, uh, and the GED program. So uh, the inmates at, at Marion Detention Center were, were getting all those, um, uh, all those programs. What I'm concerned about, Gary, is that um, a lot of these inmates will be sent to jails where there there are no programs and they're, and they're just going to be warehoused. And you know when we let them out, they're going to be right back again because they haven't received any any help. Um, you know to try to um, you know learn new skills and and uh, prevent coming back to prison. So, yeah. um, but yes, that. Um, you know, there there will be a lot of county jails across the state. That's where the 800. That's where the 800 inmates will go. Is to, like I said, to North Point and to county jails that's across cool. the state. Now, when we passed House Bill 463, and of course this is probably a, a direct result of House Bill 463, uh, what we intended to do was kind of cap our uh, inmate population at about 20,000 people, 20,000 inmates, and you know, in the last um, uh, 10 years, it's grown from about 10,000. Uh, to 20,000 hmm. and it continued to grow and I think you know last year it was up to like 2,200 or 22,000 uh, inmates in our, in our prison and continue to grow so uh, what we're doing now with House Bill 463 there's there's a lot of um, you know first offenders for drug ab drug issues are, are you know going through drug court and and, uh, and programs like that where they're not incarcerated on their first arrest so um, some of those programs are, are cutting down on the number of, of um, inmates in, in not only the county jail, but the state prisons. Okay. So, as we said, the Marion Adjustment Center uh, potentially will be closing uh, within the next few months unless some other situation occurs, and it does affect about 160 employees at that facility, so we'll keep you up to date on that.